The moon was full. It was deep winter, and a thick blanket of snow kept the forest still. The pair rode in silence, the shadow of their elk steed flickering in the moonlight. They came to a clearing. The tower stood before them, walls gleaming white, smooth, expressionless. They dismounted, and in a moment the elk was gone, dissolved into the darkness of the forest. The man opened the heavy oak door, and they stepped inside. Within was a long spiral staircase weaving its way up the tower walls. They began to climb. To keep from tripping, she gathered her long riding cloak into tightly clenched fists. The stairs were steep, monotonous. A single golden chain hung from above, a green vine growing around it. They said nothing as they rose. At the top was a cluttered room, table covered in dry herbs, bottles, manuscripts, vials, powders. Deer skulls hung from the ceiling, insects crowded in jars. In one corner, a dusty bookshelf, in the other, a hearth and bellows. The man reached into his robe and emerged with a gray-white mushroom, one end still gently smoking. From another fold came a ball of fine fiber. He placed both in the hearth and began to blow softly. Flames began licking. She watched intensely. It was some time before the, hot, the fire was hot enough to begin. She pulled a lump of black stone from her body and handed it to him. It went into the mortar to become dust. He poured the dust into a vial and then placed the vial in the fire. Nothing happened for a long time. Eyes unmoving, fixed upon the flames. He began to chant softly under his breath. She could not hear him, but she knew what was being said. Shema Israel. Hashem Eloheinu Hashem Echad Ve'ahavta et Ein Sof Elochecha Uvchol Levarcha Uvchol Nafshecha Uvchol Meodecha Ve'hayu Advarim Ha'ele Asher Anochi Mitzavcha Ayom Alvavecha Vishinan Tam Levanecha Vidibar Tabam Vishif Techab Vitechav Lech Techav Aderech Uv Shach Becha Uv Kumecha Uk Shar Tam Lot Al Yadecha Vihayu Letotafot Bene Necha Uchtav Tam Al Mizot Betecha Uv Isharecha the words continued themselves as the fire burned. They hung in the air, almost physical in their repetition. They covered themselves with themselves, filled the empty space with sound, still eyes unmoving, fixed within the flames. The moon arched through the sky above them. It was almost at the western horizon. Something shifted. The black dust in the vial began to glow yellow, then white, then it clarified. No longer black and solid, but a clear, glistening liquid, dancing as the flames did. He reached into the fire and pulled out the vial, and they walked to the open window and watched silently as the moon dropped behind the mountains. Hold out your hand, he said. He poured the vial into her open palm. The liquid fell like a spear, piercing with its heat. Her flesh burned, but it was not consumed. Instead, what formed was a perfectly clear, round sphere. It pulsed softly in the hollow of her palm. For the first time, they looked at each other. 
Eyes open wide. Pupils wide. Eyes open. Pupils wide. Piercing. They stayed like this. Still. Silent. The blackness on the eastern horizon began to pale. Eventually, I love you, he said. More silence. Then, what is love? As her response. He pushed her. She fell. Silently screaming, a cloak billowing around her like wings. And then it dropped away. What remained in the air was a glowing owl, white wings beating against the fading darkness. A, clist a crystal sphere glittering in its talons, reflecting the first rays of dawn. A single hoot, and she was gone, dissolved into the darkness of the forest. Twameva mata japita twameva twameva sarvam mama deva deva twameva mata japita twameva twameva bandhu shasaka twameva twameva vidya Dravinam Dwameva Dwameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Kaye Navacha Manasendriarva Vudyat Manava Prakrite Sabavat Karomiadyat Sakalam Parasmahe Narayana iti sarmar payami Kaye navacha manasendriyarva Budhyat manava prakrite sabhava Karomi adyat sakalam parasmahe Narayana iti sarmar payami. Whatever actions I perform with my body, speech, mind, senses, intellect, my nature, or my emotions, all these I dedicate to you. 